Hello everyone, it's Eugenia from Art Metal Tammy and today we're going to be making a, a dandelion. Uh, this morning I walked out in my front garden and I saw it uh, perfectly intact and I thought quickly let's take a photo before the wind blows blows and makes it all and goes away. And so yeah, I did a got a nice shot and I thought to share it with you um, so yeah I, I thought it was a good subject uh, for today so uh, I've got uh, I, I prepared here my uh, station I've got my A5 uh, Art Spectrum 300 GSM watercolor paper masked on my board my two clean jars of water a couple of different size of toothpicks uh, I have made a template for the dandelion that we're going to use shortly and uh, I've got some masking fluid here uh, I've, put, uh, I've put it in this little jar because my actual uh, masking fluid it is gone very very thick and it's not runny at all so uh, I had to pour it in here and then I add a little bit of water, stir it and it's perfect now so we will start with that um for, uh, i will only do um a, a, a little um maskings of the white um fluffy areas uh on at the outer of the dandelion for the moment because once we put the masking and once we go to remove it it will uh, actually move everything so we're gonna have to remask a little bit later so I'm just putting a drop of masking fluid and then I just drag it with the toothpick little uh, hairline uh, lines so the first part of the masking is completed uh, it will wait to dry but it dries so fast here right now because it's so hot so i won't have to wait a lot and um, now i'm going to create my uh, second layer of masking with masking tape i don't have so wide masking tape so i'm just creating a wide one by uh, sticking Uh, some masking tapes by itself, side by side and just stick it on the clothes make sure that it's not as taggy and then we put our template now with templates once you make them and you keep it uh, you can keep it in one little box uh, because it's so annoying to make different size templates all the time so every time I make one I'm keeping it because I might use it in a future project so this one I will definitely keep it Obviously, I'm keeping the template, not the actual masking, right? <laughs> Just in case I confuse you. <laughs> so that's my template. I will keep it, and here's my masking. But it is gonna go on my dandelion. Great. So now we are ready for our background
of course to make the the template i just used a, something circular that would be a good size for my dandelion uh i tried this one but it was i thought it was a little bit too small then i tried this one on that side too small but on on this side upside down it was perfect anyway by the way in here i have some salt that we're going to be using it in another uh, on another day for another technique probably or maybe even today we'll see so um now let's find the colors we're going to use for the background okay so i have uh, decided to use uh, the um, my daniel smith uh, watercolors uh have this kind of palette a dish <laughs> uh it's mm, it doesn't have compartment which is not very convenient because they can mix up all, all the pigments but I won't fuss about because um, I don't mind and so I'm waiting all my where did that come from all my paper nice nicely wet it's actually very wet and I will start dropping off some colors. So closer to the dandelion, I will start with some uh, Hansa yellow light. All around it. And you know, some spots, I'm gonna start putting some new bulge. because it's my pigments have moved I'll make it very close to the background and I'm add this um, beautiful green But actually it was uh, it's a cancer yellow I'm not sure it's blue because it was already uh, contaminated my my pan so I had to I went not exactly had the center of its blue went in it was a kind of blue down. Just making my colors overlap. I'll just drop some water. In any way that you feel like. So what's the color? This dandelions. It is all magical. I do make a mess on my days. It doesn't matter. I don't really have 
have some nice splatters here, but I don't want to be all splatters, I want to be a color covering. And I think um, what an Akundo with <laughs> I can say this word. With Nakodon Rose, uh, it is actually nice. Wow. Okay. I think for the moment a lot is going on uh, on this paper. I am not going to touch it anymore to make sure that I uh, definitely want to have a clean edge today. <laughs> okay, let's just try to get rid of the excess, the thirsty brass. I don't want to interfere too much. at the background. Beautiful. We laid it like this to dry and we'll be back shortly. So there we are again. Uh, it is all dry now. Uh, so it has created some really nice um, very, very nice situations around there I was thinking actually I would do the uh, the little circles uh, by lifting but uh, it is so nice this uh, how the uh, colors have mixed that I want as the background so now it is a uh, time to um, move uh, the first um, uh, masking that we have and we'll see what's underneath oh look how nice it's the edges are it is already um, oh, a, a little bit uh, went through but that's okay we'll fix that it's probably not a bad thing and then we'll remove all the masking fluid too. Okay. I'm really happy with how the we have come the edges. I'm not very happy that uh, some pigment have gone through here. I will try to see if I can lift it. It doesn't look like that it will do this favor for me. Maybe. Uh, e even if it gets reduced a little bit. I don't mind if it's some there, but on, as long as it's not very hard, the edge is there. And the thing is, I, I, I don't want to weaken my paper too. I don't want to drop, uh, make it too, to work it a lot, because um, I tend to put more masking on it. I found that uh, the Daniel Smith are not lifting as much as uh, other brands. Okay, a bit more. Yeah, they like to stay where you put them. 
mean, I've got the Phoenix ones. I oh, know this. The Daniel Smith is a professional line. The Phoenix are student grade, so can't get. I shouldn't be comparing them, but um, sometimes you will see me using those ones, and I can lift them, and I can do all sorts of things. And then I use the Daniel Smith, and it's a little bit more difficult to. Once the pigment goes, it's hard to uh, to remove it. So now this is the first stage of the dandelion. Now the second stage is going to be uh, we're going to work from the center. So in the center, it is the seeds. Now what we're going to do? I'm going to just uh, outline them with my color pencil. Actually, what a color pencil. Maybe uh, I should have done a little bit softer, but that's okay. It will melt. And uh, now, once it's dry, because I try to lift the paint, I'm going to just heat it up with the, my uh, heating tool for a second. I'm going to pause it because it's too loud. Okay, now it is all dried up. We will start um, putting the second layer of um, masking. Oh, what's my picture? Okay, there we are. I got my picture on my tablet. I got my masking. I got my special tools for smasking it, the toothpick. <laughs> and we'll start in the center. I am going to make um, three or four star like uh, shapes. This toothpick, uh, probably, yeah, it had a bit masking fluid and wooden, uh, and the point was thick. I think now it's better. Yeah, much better now. That was a big star, like a smaller one. Okay, so we've done the center. Now we'll start going further out. Now we're going to the second uh, circle. We're going to make full, full half moon uh, shapes. Because we start seeing them from the side a little bit. And of course, nothing is even. Some of them they're longer, some of them are shorter. Don't try to make them even. So make as many you feel like. I will probably speed it up at this point. Okay, so now it is uh, all dry up again, and uh, we will start um, working a little bit on the center. On the center, we're going to use some. Uh, I will start with some yellow okra. Uh, oh, gee, this this paint has dried up already. 
So uh, what just happened now, it's the, <clears throat> my phone overheated and uh, it stopped recording. So how it is that uh, I had to stop several times, cool down my phone and continue. So in the meantime that I was waiting for my phone to cool down, uh, I have worked a little bit more in this area. What I did is um, because our, um, our Spikes from the uh, masking. Uh, it is very light, and our background is very light. We don't really see what's going on, so we need to go in and do negative painting right now with a little bit dark uh, brown. So we're still preserving the the white spikes. But beside them, we do very, very fine brown lines. So that's what I did here in the middle, and I will continue now on the at the outer. So I'm still following the shape that uh, our uh, original masking uh, has and has created. So I'm not losing my uh, the, the shape or and the and the form and the. that it has already we're keeping the same we're following the same uh, pattern and the same movement so as soon we create that little contrast everything make sense for our eye
hello again. Uh, so yesterday I made this um, uh, dandelion. Finally, I was calling it <laughs> wrongly. Uh, my kids corrected me, so it's dandelion. Okay, now I've learned it. Uh, so yeah, so I, I tried to make this uh, dandelion yesterday. Um, I was pretty excited and happy uh, how the the masking worked for me. Uh, I, I I do like all the uh, situations around uh, here. I love the background. Uh, I do like all of these different blooms and colors and very variation that I have but as a the total I, it just doesn't work so I was a bit disappointed at the end um, still very happy with areas but not as, as a complete uh, picture so I sat back and um, I thought about it. I did ask for um, my family critique, but they are not criticizing. The only thing I'm getting for them, oh yes, I like it. Uh, mm, yeah, it's okay. So what I got yesterday, obviously it was, um, mm, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. So, all right, it is the time to put it as, aside for about a couple of hours don't look at it at all just give a rest to my eyes and then put it in distance look at it and think of it and think about it so that's what i did i uh, had a rest for a few hours i didn't look at it at all um, and then after i put it in about two three meters away from me and i just looked at it so the conclusion that I um, came in, it was that my brides are not bright enough. Even that it is um, the paper, it, it is not bright enough. And even if I put the, uh, the white gouache, it's not bright enough. So why it is not bright enough my brides, if that's the most white I can get? Obviously my darks are not dark enough to make them make the brights pop out so i just realized that there is everywhere one tone i don't have dark and light dark and light it, it, it's it's missing that pulpentation if you can call it pulpentation i don't know uh is it a word like that uh who knows but okay you must understood what i'm saying there's no heartbeat up and down up and down tick tock tick tock there's nothing such it's all monotone and i have nice situations here i have different colors but it's all one value no good that gives me a flat and boring picture so what do we do now to save it only not only because we need to save it but because Okay, I spend time, but it doesn't matter. I just like areas. Uh, I really like some areas. I, I, I don't want to waste it. It's um, I just like these areas here that they've been created. So I will try to save it. So what I'm thinking to do is um, I might uh, change the medium, and I will probably get uh, some colored pencils or pastels probably um, I will see which one it's um, responding better on my paper because with the watercolor background you can use colored pencils watercolor pencils pastel pencils just any kind of pencils the only thing we have to remember is that if we use color pencils, then we cannot add anything else on top. If we use pastel pencils, we can probably go into with some color pencils and will still stick. 
So let's let's start with um I don't know, I will try both. I will try some pastel or color pencils and we'll see which ones. Uh, I have the feeling I will go for the color pencils because they, they have finer tip and this is a small picture. So, uh, yeah, I, I might try the color pencils after, after all. So, let's, let me go and get them. Okay, there we are now again. Uh, Retaped on my little board so it doesn't go everywhere. And finally, I decided to use um, my Choconda pastels pencil, uh, the soft uh, pastel pa uh, pastel coino um, Choconda. It's a set of forty-eight. Uh, I just had them handier, and uh, and also thought maybe it's uh, it's better to use a, a soft medium that I can. Uh, I can blend and uh, and also if I need something darker on top I can always go with my polychromos so now I'm start uh, with a dark blue I found a one of the darker one that it's in this set and, um, And I'm just going in to close the thing. Dandelion. Hey, I've learned how to say it. <laughs> uh, see, I'm learning not only in painting but even in English. Thanks to my kids. My kids now are old and they are, yeah, they're correcting me. Oh, they had a good laugh yesterday when I said, today I have a, a, a painted dandelion. They start laughing. I said, dandelion, don't tell me that you start to, <laughs> calling it all through your video like this. I said, yes, I did. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was a good laugh. You can laugh too. That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, I know that I cannot pronounce everything right. The truth is that uh, when I was young, my brother used to t tell me uh, I was always uh, had a kind of a, a little issue of expressing myself, and um, he said, "Look, if you can't say it, just draw it." <laughs> And probably that's why I have been, um, it's gone into my mind and uh, probably that's why I have, uh, I'm following uh, the art because that's how I can express myself a little bit more <laughs> than the words. Well, I think I have been improved all, all the time, but... So now that we're getting a little dark areas on, around, we're not going a lot, just only at the base of the flower. All of a sudden it start popping up and that's all we needed. So we're still preserving the nice areas that have been created with the watercolors and, um, and then I'm going, but we're just giving a little bit extra darkness to make the dandelion pop and now i found another the darkest violet purpley pinky pastel that i can find i'm gonna go again very close to my dandelion so I don't have to go all around it. I'm going to just go to some areas. So self-criticism is, um, is very, very good. It helps you learn and think what went wrong and how can I improve it? Um, it's good to uh, so to your friends, your family, 
it is great it's great Some, sometimes you're getting good advice but they can't tell you exactly what the problem is sometimes they can't see it because otherwise it would be artists yeah they probably can't tell you but they won't tell you how to fix it In this point spot here, it, it was created a nice uh, situation already, so I won't touch it a lot. It needs a little bit help here. As you can tell, it's it's already start coming up. Wow! And I'm, I've only done just a couple of uh, lines here and there. Now, because these um, dandelions are see-through, I will go in with my those dark uh, pastels, and I'm gonna just do some lines here and there because they're going to give the impression of the background popping up so not a lot especially in the center that is darker it meant to be darker in the center because all the seeds Where's the dark look that I used before? There it is. So I'll just go in, just put a little bit blue here and there. Be careful, don't put too much. And, um, and now I will see if I can put some brighter colors. Okay, I've got this, looks pretty bright, it's like a skin tone. I'm just gonna just put it in the center. Let's see if it uh, gives me some. Me, I think it needs brighter, so I'll go for white. And we'll just go and reshape the original stars. Some lines here and there. It is already started improving. It has definitely started coming and uh, popping up. 
So I might um, Just continue a little bit to make it blend to the rest of the background. Um, so now, now I'm kind of satisfied with this area here. Now this is a watercolor pencil. And because I use the pastels, I can just go and see if it's uh No, it doesn't do much. Anyway, now at the at the bottom here, it looks a little bit um, empty. I probably would like to do something here. I'm not exactly sure what I would like to do. Um, so I will wait and think about it and then I will go back in. Okay, so I decided to do some experiment with some more brushes and uh, so I covered my painting <laughs> as much as I could with just any scraps that I found around and um, let's see what can I, what I do uh, I'm going to be using the crimson and the turquoise probably I should use the yellow too where is it the yellow uh, we'll find the yellow for a second there it is and I think those three should be uh, enough to get me by um so let's let's put some fine mist and um start with a lighter color get into my turquoise And uh, a little bit crimson here at the bottom. Let's see. Uh, I have the feeling that I put too much. It's not the first time that I'm doing this. Uh, so. I'm going from very high distance. it's already sprayed and it's giving me a really harsh uh, we'll just go and spray it a little bit that way to make sure that it bleeds everywhere and it doesn't leave the straight edge Well, by having it on the board, we can uh, kind of guide the, the water with a pigment to travel where we want it to travel. 
to avoid areas or to go to different areas. Um, yeah, I can say that I like it. Now we'll wait to dry and see if we need to do anything else. And now I'm pretty much happy with it. Um, I'm very happy also that I, I said this step with you. Uh, because the most important thing is not how I fixed it, but how, the process of thinking and deciding what to do. Uh, critic, uh, criticizing yourself, it's very important. Um, if you have a person that uh, in your family or f friends that they, they know a lot about um, art and they can give you good advice, it is great to um, ask their uh, opinion. Uh, if you have a, a family that doesn't want to tell you the <laughs> You know, they don't want to hurt your feelings, so they don't want to tell you if it's good or not good. And it's like my family, and they're saying, ah, mm, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> then you need to do that work yourself. You need to uh, take a break uh, from um, your art piece. Just don't look at it for whatever time you need. For me, a couple of hours, it was enough. Uh, for some people, you might need a couple of days. That's fine. Just take a break and then put it up. In a distance about a couple of meters distance at least so look at it from a from a fair amount of uh, distance and think what what you don't like what you like first thing what you like and what and then what you don't like first i thought what i like i look at it close up and so i thought yeah i like all of these areas here and i like it here too but oh, what's the matter why i like everything but not when everything is all together and then I said oh my gosh of course there's no contrast that it is all one town uh, I've done the greatest mistake <laughs> maybe because it was hot <laughs> I will blame the hot weather again <laughs> that's okay um, so yeah I just came back I will put a little bit um, dark in some areas made them dandelion uh, pop up and, and then just put some brush on in that area here not everywhere that i like the areas that i liked but just in the areas that they will look a little bit boring and um yeah i'm happy with it so i hope you learned something uh from this tutorial and um yep yeah, i would like to see you again in my next video thank you very much for watching bye